What's your craziest college confession? I've just been really sexually active. How many bodies have you got since you've been here? About 20, yeah. And that's, that's since July. Jesus Christ. Are you going crazy? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. I'm positive for site 1 and site 2 herpes. It's not, like, too big of a deal, I think. I mean, it's not too big of a deal. That was fun. Yeah, that was awesome. So, what are we? A couple of people who just banged, that's what. I'm serious. Are we exclusive? Is that what you want? Yeah, I guess. Okay, we're officially exclusive. Okay! Yes! All right! Where do we go from here? Well, we could keep dating until we get bored of each other and look for ways to spice up our relationship instead of breaking up due to a fear of crippling loneliness. You mean like trying to find excitement through relationship milestones? Yeah, exactly! So we can move in together and then get a dog. Then we could get engaged and post about it on social media. You get so many comments and likes on that? It's very exciting! Then we can plan the wedding, have the wedding, go on a honeymoon! That'll keep the fun going for like two more years! I can get pregnant! We could have a kid! Yes! Kids! Baby showers! First birthdays. That's even more fun stuff to keep us from realizing we're not actually a great match for each other. Raise the kids, get divorced, spend the rest of our lives regretting our decisions. Exactly. This all sounds great. What do you want to do right now? You want to have sex again? All right. That's the American trap. It should be a crime. Somebody lock them up. I think it goes back uh, to how you were raised. No. Women have no? an extremely bad habit of over overcomplicating things and thinking that <laughs> men and women are the same. Yeah. Men are very simple. Since the beginning of time, men have pretty much looked at the same things. There's a reason why the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. How has that stood the test of time? If men aren't as common with what they want. Think about that. There's all these sayings that have stood the test of time. Men haven't changed that much throughout the centuries. Women have, thanks to feminism. So women t tend to complicate what men want in the opposite gender, thinking that it's symmetrical. Oh, yeah, we want your education, your career, your income, your ambition. My point is, is that women in general don't know what men want. However, men must understand what women want to be able to get laid and or get some type of relationship. I agree 100 percent. to be honest. Thank you. Someone logically <laughs> sound here. I can never help but laugh when people try to come for me when I tell them I'm a Hooters girl, but I'm going to tell you why I've been a Hooters girl, and I'll be a Hooters girl until I can't be a Hooters girl anymore. The I gotta keep it real, man. She ain't stripping. That's kind of a solid hustle. Keep it up. So are you ready to be honest and tell me that you're cheating on me? I didn't cheat on you. You went on a date with this girl. It wasn't a date. She literally told me that you took her out to eat. No. Yeah, and you guys hooked up. You can't sit here and deny that. I am denying because it's not true. It, okay, sure. So are you saying she's lying? I'm saying she's lying. Let's find out from her. Okay. All right. Oh my God. Paula, can you tell him what you told me? So I pretty much told her that you took me to this really fancy restaurant and afterwards we went back to my place and hooked up. And that he came onto you in the car and you guys were kissing? Yes. Yeah, see? Why Thanks. would you sit here and lie? I lied because... So you weren't telling wait. the truth? Got <laughs> I didn't think that she deserved you, so I lied. We're oh my god. Clearly, she doesn't value the faithful, amazing man that you are. Never trust a woman, they shady as can be. White women go to college to find a man. Black women go to college to prove they don't need one. Your mothers, our mothers failed you because your mothers are actively your competition. This is why you see women who are in their 20s partying with their daughters in their 30s and 40s. I'm sorry, on Instagram, you can have this, this woman and this woman. You got mother done. Competing? competing because if your mama ain't married, she's still dating. And if you are 25 and your mother is 41, 
y'all are likely looking at the same kind of men. Women have not raised their daughters. Their, why do we have so many women over 40 still talking about, I'm 40 and I look good, 50 and fly. Your ass should be sitting the fuck down somewhere. You should be somebody's grandma baking cookies. <laughs> but instead you got the short haircut out here talking about you a diva. Haircut. You can look around and it's like, oh, I'm good, I'm a diva and I'm this oh and that. It's real. Yo, what's primo, up, what's up, bro? Yo, no, hey, bro, hey, what were you with my new girl? Oh, shit, that's your new girl? Yeah. yeah. she look good, my G. What were you rate her, bro? I gave uh, you permission. I, I, I rate her, uh, I rate her a seven. Bro, eight. Bro, you want me to rate her ten? No, bro, she a six. I'm on it. Okay. Jesus. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I'm honest, bro. I got you. Can't keep it 100. You exactly. Keep it 100, exactly. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna get a new girl too. Yeah. Shit. I need a 10. I see you. I see you. Hey. Nah, never mind. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta burn them to a crisp. Hey, Snapchat. Just here smoking with my future husband. Say hi to the camera. I want blood to our future husband, y'all chop up. Turn off your bomb, book that What's your body count? Well, I'm going to be shamed for this. Um, so I'm just going to pre-defend myself and say that I was, this was when I was between the ages of 18 to 22. I don't do this anymore, but I really thought that if I slept with You were man, young and impressionable. I thought that they would love me if I gave them the pee. So it didn't work out that way. <laughs> Anyways, so it's 45. Zero. I think look back on that and now make the change. Like, don't let that be you anymore. And, and that's what I have done, but then I guess that's why I said, like, I I don't think body count should matter because it sucks that I would be judged for that when I am I am a very loyal person, you know? And I don't want to sleep around because it yeah. felt awful. What's your ideal age in a man? <laughs> the older, the better. You got a range? 26 to 31. How old are you? I'm 24. Me too. All right. Ideal okay. race? Uh, 24. <laughs> Ideal race? White. Minimum height. Your height or taller. Wait, does that mean you want my number? Let's go through the rest of the questions. All right, minimum income. 80. The probability of you finding your ideal man is a 2.2% chance. That's why I'm single, motherfucker. <laughs> you ain't got no money for me? I got bills, car payments, phone bill, water bill, telephone bill. I mean, I gotta get to know you a little bit, though. I told you I'm a mystery. We near the Dior store, Fendi, Gucci, Prada, all these different stores right here. You gotta pay for that. You wanna get to know me? I'm not about to pay to get to know you, though. I apologize for the rudeness, but the bag, yeah, still need that. What does the bag gotta do with me, though? It's rules and uh, regulations. It's probably like having a friendship first, then we can work our way up to that. Where is the cash here? How much you got on you? Come on, everything that's in your bag right now. Yeah, right. You brought this car. You know what a down payment is, deposit. You know what that shit is. You shit like for real. You playing or you for real? I'm so serious. I just know you ain't got no man. I don't. I expect what I expect. I don't settle. What does that even mean, though? You ain't spending that bag. You ain't getting this ass. You're a gold digger. You can't make a woman happy. It's impossible. I've never met a happy woman in my life. I really don't find girls interesting. A lot of girls are not interesting, man. That's the number one problem with Gen Z girls. They've all been so addicted to social media. They're all involved in the same thing as astrology, Jeffrey Dahmer, copy paste, TikTok dancing, the same talking points and same opinions about everything. And they like the same interests. They all do nail techs and sell clothes on Depop. It's just, it's all copy paste. And it gets really boring after a while. It's just copy paste, copy paste. I was dating this man. He might not have been dating me back, but like I was like really invested in this situation. I was like, and then this, what is my, this is my guy. And then what did you do? She did one of my favorite terms. <laughs> Wait, what is it? You star trekked for the dick. If you go more <laughs> than did. if I you go more than 15 <laughs> miles, really, you're star trekking for the dick. Let's talk about women hitting the wall. There's men who love to scare women about hitting the wall. They do this to make women settle out of fear. Fear that they will no longer be fertile, they will no longer be attractive to men, and they will no longer be dateable. That their value decreases over time. I used to subscribe to this thinking like, oh I have to settle real quick before I get left behind in the dating market. The thing is, attractive, desirable, kind, gentle, charismatic women will always be in demand no matter the age. If you want to have children, obviously, the younger you are, the easier it is for your body. And when you're older, there are certain considerations you have to make biology-wise. Like, I get all that. 
As someone whose career was in biology, I get all of that. Men like to say that 28 is when you hit the wall. After that, good luck getting married. You're gonna get the slim pickings of men. Let me tell you, as a woman gets older, you don't get left behind in the dating market. You just get to date older men. Older men who are more financially able and willing to share their resources. Older men who have been trained by other women to act right. So all these young boys telling you that you're gonna hit the wall, nobody's gonna want you, they just want you to settle for them. Because they have nothing to offer you right now, and they just want to scare you. It's a fear tactic. Mm, oh my god, stop fucking lying. Well, isn't that the new female superpower? Lie to yourself and convince yourself of anything. Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of another video. We're going to see you on the next one. I think we're going on Wednesday. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's talk about approaching women. Um, I'm in pretty curious about what you guys would do. So in the comments, let me know what you guys do to approach women. But for me, um, you know, I go to places that are sort of well-populated, target shit like that, and I just find something relevant, and I can easily talk to someone I've never met before like I've known them for years. And it's sort of that easy ability to spark conversation that uh, that seems that has that sort of element to it, like you've known each other for a while, that has really worked out well for me. Um, I think it's something that, again, I picked up in sales. It's just, uh, you know, you have to find a way to make friends with them fast, find out what their concerns are, find out what they need, and then fill that need when I'm doing sales. So I'm able to sort of, you know, break the ice really quickly. And uh, I suppose that's another part of it. If you see a girl you like, you need to break the ice immediately. I'm talking like within two seconds. Um, if you stall at all, and it even becomes like a five second stall, it immediately becomes creepy. So you need to learn how to flow and how to conversate with people very quickly, even if you have to start out with guys. And uh, if I feel like I want to talk to girls a lot, I'll also interact with every single person I see. So if I'm at the beach, I see old lady. Hi, how you doing? You all having a great day? And then when the hot girl comes, my mouth is hot. i am already been talking to everyone. So I can easily say something funny, relevant, or whatever to break that ice with that person quite quickly. Um, so I guess it's another thing that I do is I kind of keep my mouth hot if I'm going to if I'm going to end up interacting and talking for the day or that's what it seems like is going to happen. So, you know, find out a way to make it friendly and fast. And remember that if you stall out, you're going to be a creep real quick. Um, learn how to talk to strangers you've never met before, like you've known them for years, because that sort of that sort of conversation, that sort of skill is going to be key in this endeavor. Hey, guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. Please let me know what you guys do to pick up girls because I need some help. <laughs> you know, no, I'm just kidding. I'm curious to know what y'all do though. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one.